this continuing episode, we're going to be talking about logistic regression a bit more, specifically about configuration options and predictions. I'm going to assume you've already created a logistic regression on the US primary results dataset from the last video. Let's begin. The independent variables represent the fields in our dataset. BigML provides a table with all our coefficients for each of the predicted classes along with our field values. The independent variables in the logistic regression formula must be numeric values. For the model to support BigML allowed field types as input fields, we need to make some transformations. Categorical fields are one hot encoded by default. That means a separate zero to one numeric field is created for each category. For text fields, each term is mapped to corresponding numeric fields, whose value is the total number of occurrences of that term in the instance. And item fields are the same as text fields. For numeric fields, missing values can also be included or replaced by another valid value, else instances containing missing numeric values are ignored for training the LR. BigML takes care of transformations automatically. So the goal of logistic regression is for us to be able to make accurate predictions with it. BigML lets you do this for single instances or for many instances in a batch. Each prediction has a measure of the probability of the predicted class with a percentage ranging from 0 up to 100. BigML also provides the probabilities for the rest of the classes in the objective field. We can just go to the predictions tab in the main menu and under the models icon the menu option of the top left corner of the predictions list view we can see our saved LR predictions. We can select single predictions or batch predictions by clicking on one of these icons. BigML provides several configuration options if you want more control over how your logistic regression is created. You can specify your objective field, for example, in the configuration panel. This is the target field you want to predict. It has to be categorical. There's also the missing numerics option, which lets you include your numeric field missing values as valid values to train your model. One of my favorite ones is EPS parameter. This sets the stopping criteria for the solver. So if the difference between the current result and the last iteration is smaller than EPS, then the solver is finished. You can set positive float values greater than zero and smaller than one, and the default value is 0 0.0001. It's fine-grained parameters like these that make BigML such an incredible platform. Another is the ability to tune the regularization strength. The goal for having a regularization factor is to avoid overfitting. You can choose between L1 and L2 regularization. L1 norm causes more coefficients to be zero, while L2 norm forces the magnitude of all coefficients towards zero. L2 usually gets you better results, so it's the default option to create a logistic regression. You can also scale the bias in numeric fields of your dataset. The bias is the intercept term of the logistic regression formula. Enable the option to auto-scale your numeric fields so their standard deviations are one if you'd like. This will ensure each field will be weighted the same despite the difference in magnitudes. Speaking of numeric fields, you can set the default value to replace the missing values of your numeric fields by the fields mean, median, max, min, or by zero. Okay, one more config option to talk about, field codings. Categorical fields need to be converted to numeric values to train an LR model. The default is that they are one hot encoded. That means that a numeric variable 0 or 1 is created per categorical value plus 1 for missing values. So hot. To download your LR, just click the download icon in the top menu in your preferred programming language. Once you have your BigML auth environment variable set, you can also programmatically create, configure, retrieve, list, update, delete, and use them for predictions via the BigML API or via WizML, like in this example. To go over some of what we've learned, a logistic regression is a supervised machine learning method used to solve classification problems. You can create one with one click from the dashboard. The probability chart and coefficients table helps you visualize and interpret them via the dashboard. You can make single instance and batch predictions using logistic regression. There are a variety of configuration options available to you in the dashboard. You can download your LR for later use, and you can use the BigML API to use logistic regressions in a variety of ways. For more info, check out the links down below, and please subscribe for more BigML videos. For now, I've got to predict my lifespan, so thanks for watching.